Uh, coming up next, the incomparable Diesel. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. You did a fantastic job of clapping for someone you never heard of. I love it. Are you really a virgin? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I was, I was like, I appreciate your like villain origin story. Like, I, I get it. It's like, I mean, dude, forty year old virgin, and the first thing I was like, you know, you said you had brain damage, right? Yeah. And so I don't know if that comes with a check or not. But, but I totally would have brought some pussy with my first check. That would have been like the first thing I would have brought. The second thing would have been some condoms. But I would have, I would have definitely got the pussy first. Um, <laughs> a little bit about me. I'm recently divorced. Y'all clap for that. Yeah. I was married 12 long, miserable years. My marriage was so bad they made a movie about it. It's called 12 Years a Slave. Anybody see it? Uh, I was a horrible husband, man. Way too many rules, man. And I'm petty, man. You know, I'm petty. I am petty. Like, I didn't realize how petty I was until I started dating. And I would break up with a chick for any reason. You want to know the most petty reason I ever broke up with someone? Yeah. Her kids were ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Granted, she was my baby mom, but you know. <laughs> rules are rules. <laughs> It's about principalities, man. <laughs> My dating life is in shambles, man. I met this one girl. We had three good dates, right? And then it got weird, right? The third day, she said she had something really important to tell me. So I'm like, yeah, this bitch is a man, right? <laughs> I've seen this movie before. But it was worse than that. It was worse than that. She wasn't a man. It was worse. She told me when she was younger, in high school, she used to be in special education classes. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. And so that's a first date conversation, right? You don't, you don't wait to the third date to tell me you used to be slow, right? Right? Like, you've been parking in the back the whole time. They got these spots in the front for people like you. It's like, speak up. But I'm a man, like, and men, we're simple, right? So I just want to know, like, how, how special we talking, you know? <laughs> Because every man has a slider scale of retarded, we still fuck, right? 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying, EP? You know what I mean? I'm not going to go full blown retard, you know? But if you dyslexic, you can get this dick. That's all you know what I'm saying. Like, this is an all inclusive dick, you know? You used to ride a short bus? You can ride a long dick. That's all I'm saying. It's like... <laughs> Everyone's going to hell but me. <laughs> you know, do you have any parents in the house? Any parents? Yeah. Oh, all these happy people, no kids. <laughs> Fuck those kids, man. <laughs> no, I love my kids. I have five amazing children. Five. I take care of every single one of them. Like, awesome. You clap for a black man take care of his kids. You get it. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> Full disclosure, if I have a sixth baby, I'm not going to take care of it. <laughs> <All right? laughs> I take care of five out of six kids. So what's that, like 83%? <laughs> Fuck you, I'm trying, man. <laughs> Fucking trying. Now, I love my kids. The thing is, is kids don't respect boundaries. Right, they don't. The newest thing my kids do is they'll unplug whatever the fuck they want and make sure their cell phone's plugged in. <laughs> if you get up to make coffee, the coffee maker's unplugged, but the iPad's charging? Man, what the fuck? <laughs> it's getting out of hand, man. I take the kids to visit my mom. We're having a good time. I notice my mom, she's nodding in her chair. They unplugged her oxygen. <laughs> like, why the fuck would you unplug grandma, man? You're like, Dad, my phone's on 10%. <laughs> well, grandma's on 1%. <laughs> It'll plug her up now, goddammit. <laughs> She did a factory reset, had to teach her her name again. <laughs> hey, you mama. <laughs> I love my kids, man, but my youngest child, she's, she's 11, right? She wants to be a comedian like dad, right? You know, which, I, which I think is cool. Her mom hates it, but I hate her mom, so, you know, it's an even exchange. I got a call from the school last week, they're like, you gotta pick Natalie up. She said something inappropriate. So I get down to the school, I'm like, Natalie, 
the fuck did you say to these people? She's like, Dad, I have a friend named Bobby. He doesn't have any arms. I said, what the fuck? She says, knock, knock. I said, who's there? She says, not Bobby. He doesn't have any arms. I said, damn, that's a good joke. Get in the car. We're leaving the school. She sees Bobby. She waves. He just nods. He doesn't have any fucking arms. And I want to know why they're in the same class. Like, what the fuck's going on here? <laughs> Bobby looks a little more special than my baby. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, you know? <laughs> My oldest son, like, he's 15, so he's turning into a man, right? <laughs> so he has to take a sex education class. So mom was like, hey, you need to have a talk with him before the class because I don't want him to sound like a bigot, you know? Which I think is fair. So I sit him down, I'm like, son, it's 2024. We have different sexual orientations. We got the L, the G, the B, the T, the Q. He stops me and says, Dad, I already know. I know everything. I said, really? What do you know? He says, well, I've given it much consideration, and I'm going to be bisexual. I said, OK, really? He said, yeah, I'm just going to pay for sex. <laughs> well, I had to explain to him that's not what bisexual means, you know? Because huh? anyone who pays for sex is called a husband. <laughs> you can do better than that, son. You can definitely do better. You guys, make sure you follow me on Instagram at professionallyblack. I own the incomparable Diesel Breezel. Y'all are fantastic. <laughs>